Hey guys, so today is going to be my reading story. I've seen this video going around for a while. I don't know if it's a tag and I really have no idea who the original creator is, so I'm very sorry. But if I find out by the time I post this video, then I will link it down below. But basically the gist is just that you kind of tell the story about how you became a reader and how it changed your life, I guess. At least that's what I'm gonna do. I started reading at a really young age. I mean, I had a bookshelf full of books. I remember very specifically loving my little bookshelf. The books that I really remember reading were the Junie B. Jones books. I think I had like the whole series. I had those Amelia Bedelia books, which were some of my favorites. And then I really loved the Mary Kate and Ashley little chapter books. I was obsessed with Mary Kate and Ashley as a kid, so I had everything that had to do with them. I remember I was obsessed with the Babysitter's Club series because I was finding them at the Goodwills when we would go. They were like 25 cents a piece and I would beg my mom like, please let me get them. And she would let me get like four or five at a time. So that was pretty much what I read as a child. And then after that, I guess I just kind of stopped reading. I guess I was going through the phase where reading wasn't cool and so I decided I didn't like it. I don't really know. It's not that I really hated reading, I just stopped doing it for whatever reason. As like a preteen, there's a couple books I remember really loving. I read Stealing Heaven by Elizabeth Scott. I actually have that one somewhere but I can't find it. There was this book called Kleptomaniac I think and I don't even remember the author but I really loved that book. Those books kind of sparked my interest for reading but what really made me the reader that I am now was actually kind of a really awful time in my life. Let's see, in 2009 I started working as a cashier and I worked for a couple years. So I think it was about 2011 and I started having some really bad back problems. I'd actually had previous back problems but they started becoming worse because I was on my feet so much and I actually had to quit my job because of my back and it actually got to the point where I was like having to go around in a wheelchair. I couldn't stand up or walk for more than like a minute. I didn't want to go anywhere. I didn't want to see anyone. I didn't want anyone to see me the way that I was. So I stopped hanging out with people, didn't have a job. I wasn't doing much at this point. I wasn't in school or anything. I remember one day, I think it was my mom who suggested that we go to the library kind of like to try to cheer me up. Like, let's go get a few books and see if that'll fill up your time. So we went to the library and I remember the specific day, like this was literally a pivotal point in my life. I picked up a few books. I think one was Tangled by Carolyn Mackler um, and a few others but the one I really remember was the one that changed my reading life forever. It changed my whole life forever really. It was Stay by Deb Coletti because I remember bringing it home and reading it and that was the book where I was like it really hit me like wow reading is magical because it totally makes you forget your problems for hours at a time and you're just lost in this book and you're feeling for the characters and it just that book changed me. It made me love reading and it made me realize how special reading truly is. Also around the same time I was really obsessed with like makeup and watching beauty videos. Elle Fowler was one of the people that I watched and she had this little segment, I can't remember if it was like a separate channel, where she actually talked about books that she had read. That's how I found out what the Hunger Games were from her recommendations and that got me hooked on that series and I think I saw like from watching her videos, I think there was like over in the suggestions area on YouTube, there was like other people talking about books. So I would click on their videos and I was like, wow, like there's other people who talk about books on YouTube. This is so awesome. That's how I got into the booktube community. That's how I came across it. Um, and I saw all these people talking about books and I started getting all these recommendations and that's how I found out about Goodreads and making my to read list. And that's just how it all started and I became obsessed with reading and books and booktube. Buying books and just reading them in general from the library or whatever made me happy and it helped me cope with my situation and the hard time that I was going through. It just seriously, like I really feel like reading saved me. It really did. So I have a really, really strong emotional connection to reading and books and what they've done for my life. They've been nothing but positive for me. Not only have they helped me get through things, but they've also helped me develop as a person. I have 
much better vocabulary now that I read all the time. It helps me write as well because I've always loved writing. Reading definitely helps me become a better writer. And also because of reading, I found out what I wanted to do with my life. I want to become an English major and I want to work in the publishing business or do something with books or even write them someday. Reading has changed me as a person in a good way and I owe so much to it. Now, as a reader, I, you know, I'm working on getting my life together. My back is much better than it used to be, and I'm still continuing with my love of reading. I'm not going to abandon it just because I'm not going through as much of a hard time as I was when I first discovered reading. Reading has become a part of me. Like, it literally is how I describe myself to people when I have to introduce myself. I say that I love reading or that I love collecting books. It's literally become a part of who I am. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I think that these are really really fun to do, fun to watch. I think it's so interesting to see how people came across reading and why they love it so much. So that is it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!